Hello, everyone. I'm with our head of support, Brock Gettemeyer, and we are going to be talking about how to use Campaign Studio properly. This is sort of the heart of Solozo and the ability to link up your campaigns so you can automate keyword transfer, negative keyword creation, et cetera. Uh, but there's a lot in here. So, Brock, let's let's dive in and let's really sort of figure out, show everyone how to best utilize uh, Campaign Studio. Uh, and yeah. before we do, just so everyone knows, the way you get to Campaign Studio is when you're in the PPC Manager, you can just click the green action square next to any campaign and then just go to Campaign Studio and that'll bring you to this uh, page where you can design your workflow. So let's let's talk about this. What's, what's going on in this situation right here, Brock, with these campaigns? Yeah, so in this test account, it looks like we've got a very traditional setup. And this is best practice for most most niches and most um, product life cycle stages. So what this is, is on our left hand side, you can see the green auto uh, automatic campaign. And on the right hand side, you have the uh, more purple manual campaign. And all manual campaigns and automatic campaigns do have the same color coding. Uh, now what this is, is it's transferring search terms that have converted in your automatic over to your exact match manual. This is nine out of 10 times really where you wanna start. And then based on the data you receive, say you're not doing enough uh, keyword testing, you might wanna incorporate a broad or a phrase, um, but you really wanna start out with an auto exact match because it's almost always the highest ROI uh, way to do keyword testing, keyword transfer, and uh, really honing in and optimizing on the keywords that are profitable for you. So this is an auto campaign and it's, connected to a manual and it's making these exact matches. Let's talk about how you define the rule, the keyword transfer. So to if this if this line is already here, you can click this line, the middle of the line, and this will pull up the default transfer rule. So let's walk through this a little bit, Brock, and tell everyone how to get the best out of this. Yeah, yeah, this can be a little bit confusing because this is a more advanced tool. Uh, a lot of people will just turn the optimizer on for an automatic, and then we will default to the pattern you just uh, were on, actually, the automatic to exact match. So if you are uncomfortable using this, uh, do know just turning the optimizer on for your automatic campaign will result in the best practice for the auto to exact match on one-time search term conversion. Now, if you want to get a little more advanced, that's, this is the part we really love. Uh, mm -hmm. So up at the top of this page, uh, you've got your default transfer rule. One of the most important things, and, and this is the entire box at the top of the page you see here. One of the important things to note is that down below that, you have your customized transfer rules. These are at the ad group level. If you have ad group level transfer rules, your default transfer rule will no longer do anything unless you create a new automatic ad group and, and you let the optimizer go ahead and spawn you a new exact match. It's gonna use your default. I guess you could switch your default to broader phrase as well. Um, so down below, that's that's really what we're going to be talking about right now because we do have a customized ad group link here, and, and we're no longer talking about the default. Mm -hmm. So on the left-hand side, you have your source ad group. Uh, that is going to be typically your automatic ad group. If we're talking about, say, a broad or a phrase match campaign that's transferring uh, search terms to an exact match, uh, that could also be a broad or phrase match ad group. But essentially, this source ad group is just what is going to be harvesting the search terms and or ASINs. It can do both. Now, on the right hand side, you have your destination ad group. And this is just where those search terms uh, that we've discovered from the source, whether that's auto, broad or phrase, that's where they will be created as keywords uh, or targets if we're talking about product targets. Now, the middle, the transfer rule, this is really where you have control over the automation. And so if you click that, that there to drop down and expand this view, you'll see all of the, the different functionality. Mm -hmm. You really best practice want to transfer search terms for creating keywords, and you want to transfer products or ASINs uh, for your product target. So right here we can see when a search term converts one time, and you can see that that one time is a slider, so you can expand that. Best practice is probably somewhere between one and three, unless you're using uh, this for some sort of like control around uh, reducing keyword testing. Um, and then right below that, uh, this is the match type that it's going to create. 
So again, our default is exact match. We recommend people starting out with doing an automatic to exact match transfer. And then if you're not seeing enough keyword testing, then start trying out broad and phrase. So that way your budget doesn't uh, get spent too quick right as you're starting out. Uh, the harm in that could be that your exact match never has enough budget to actually spend on the keywords you've optimized. Mm -hmm. Now, if we want to get really advanced with this, we actually have a refinement feature directly below this. Now, this is if you want to refine the transfer rule uh, to actually analyze the search term. So, for example, branded is the most common application for this. If you want to only send unbranded keywords, you might want to add a refinement that says uh, does not, uh, search term does not contain your brand name. Or, or, and then if you want to create a link to your branded ad group, of course, you're, you're going to do the exact opposite and do search term does contain and put your brand name in. And that will make it so the optimizer only transfers the terms with your brand or the ones without your brand. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. So let's move on here. I'm going to get out of this. So if they have multiple ad groups, then they would just do that again. They would add another link here and then select the transfer rule between their additional ad groups that they're looking to connect. Correct. That's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you might even have uh, the same source ad group. So we could actually select that here if you want to. And you can see we only have one source ad group in this automatic campaign. But we might want to go ahead and, and link it to two different destination ad groups. Mm -hmm. Say we have in this manual campaign, maybe we have one exact match ad group and one broad match ad group. So we could very easily select the broad match ad group here and then switch the, the transfer rule to broad. So that way this one source automatic ad group is sending uh, search terms to the exact match ad group as an exact match keyword. And it will also send search terms to the broad match ad group as broad match keywords. And so once they have this completed, they just click apply. And then that now will save that transfer rule. And then in the future, all those keywords will transfer based on that rule. So really powerful. I mean, that's that's the power of the campaign studio and what it's able to do. Uh, now, let's talk about another one. This loop around right mm -hmm. here, the question I get all the time is if you've got a campaign and you want to link it to itself, if I click on this, this is connecting the ad groups within the same campaign so that you're able to link them. So if you click on this, and so a lot of times we'll have somebody who instead of a broad match campaign and a phrase match campaign and exact match campaign, they'll actually have those as, as separate ad groups in the same campaign. Well, you can set the, you can link those ad groups up within that campaign so that you can transfer. Now, can you tell what happens once a keyword or a, or a target is transferred to a destination campaign, what happens to that in the original campaign or ad group? Yeah, yeah, and that's super critical. Um, the negative keyword is what we're referring to here. And uh, we, we've done a lot of testing and how we've um, implemented this is basically when a search term converts in your automatic or broader phrase, your source, right? Uh, ad group, it's transferred over and created in your destination ad group. Now we don't immediately apply the negative exact match keyword in the source ad group. And the reason being is we want to wait until we see traction picking up in the destination. So we actually create a negative exact match for the keyword that got the conversion in the manual. We do it the following day. So if it gets a conversion today, tomorrow morning, we're going to go ahead and create a negative exact match in the automatic. And we find that to be best practice because uh, every once in a while it takes six to even 12 hours for a newly created keyword to start getting traction in the manual. And we really don't want you having a gap in um, any of your best search terms uh, for PPC. So we create the negative exact for you and that rule applies to any source after. Now, the only exception for that is, is your self-link. So the, the manual, if you have the source ad group and the destination ad group actually the same ad group, uh, we will not create a negative exact match in that ad group because, of course, that would cut off the newly created uh, keyword volume. Exactly. Perfect. All right. Well, let's just do a couple things here real quick. I'm going to... Uh, take this off so we can start from scratch. Let's say now somebody um, wants to connect existing campaigns that they have. Um, so when they look at their auto campaign, they've come to the campaign studio and this is all they see. Now, mm -hmm. this person has a broad and a phrase and an exact campaign that they want to link. So let's walk 
talked about how we can walk somebody through that process. Um, if you're yeah. looking to add campaigns to this campaign group at the top, you can select a placeholder. So I'll, I'll go ahead and click this three times. And so now we have those three placeholders. And then what do we do now? How do we get the campaign that we want in here? Yeah, while we're at it, let's go ahead and add one more manual in. I've got another uh, sure. pro tip here. Um, so let's just assume you've got two broad match campaigns and they're a duplicate, meaning it's the same product, many of the same keywords, lots of reasons you might have duplicate campaigns. There are a lot of benefits for consolidating down because you're focusing your data and your history of performance on that one campaign or hopefully one ad group. That is really ideal. So let's go ahead and do that. So first thing is uh, you'll click that little edit icon in the empty um, manual box there. So we've just got this test account. So go ahead and pick anything here. Obviously, your campaign names would be showing in uh, your actual account. So you'd want to select the correct campaign. You do want to pick the right campaign. Um, yep. And then so let's say this is your broad match campaign. Uh, then let's go ahead and select the other broad match the phrase match and the exact, we'll just go ahead and select all those. I know since we're in this test account, there's uh, yep. no name showing, but your names will show there. Yep. All right. Okay. So now this is, this is all drag and drop. It's actually very easy, very user-friendly, and this could be done through the bulk upload in your campaign groups tab, but I really find it helpful to do a couple manually in the user interface so you know how it works. Uh, for using the bulk upload. So I uh, click the exit arrows from the automatic and simply drop them over to the broad. Yep. And now let me just make a point here. You need to drop that directly into the middle of the mm -hmm. arrow. So what, that way that'll create that link right there. So now we have a link from the auto to the uh, one of your broad match campaigns. And now let's go ahead and click on that link to make sure that we set it to a broad match transfer rule. Yep. Now, so we have here and change this to broad. And, and we don't even have to use the default. We could set it at the ad group level if we wanted to. I, I prefer to do everything at the ad group level and don't do anything with the default. The default is really about spawning new ad groups. And um, if you're linking up existing manuals, you really shouldn't need to change your defaults because you're going to link up each of the ad groups. You're not going to create new ones. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead, add in the source ad group and add in the destination ad group. All right, and then let's change that transfer rule to broad because again, we're doing this down below. We're not using the default up above. We're, we're gonna do it here. Right, and then we click apply. Yes. All now right. The exact same thing from our broad match to our phrase match, except instead of doing that ad group level link as a broad match, we're of course going to switch it to a phrase match uh, under the transfer rule. Yeah. Select, so this would be selecting the uh, ad group, and this is the selecting ad group inside of the phrase match campaign. And we want to edit the transfer rule to create a phrase. And so now when a broad match keyword gets a conversion, that search term will be created as a phrase match keyword in your phrase match ad group. Uh, the only other thing that's going to happen is, of course, when that phrase match keyword gets a conversion, it will create a negative exact in the broad match ad group. The benefit of that is your broad match keyword will now start targeting new, hopefully longer tail and more profitable search terms. Absolutely. And so now we want to do the same thing to the exact phrase, match. phrase to exact. Yep. Yeah. And, and to be honest, this, uh, we're going to keep the default, um, or, or I should say, we're going to keep the uh, default transfer rule. So go ahead and add those ad groups in and we won't even have to edit that middle transfer rule. Yep, because that mid middle transfer rule is creating an exact match. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we click apply. Now here's the part that, that's going to really help you. Um, this duplicate broad match campaign, we, we want to clean that up, but we don't really want to shock the whole system and remove all the history all at once. So we like to let the optimizer phase it out gradually. Uh, so a great way to do that is actually linking the broad match to the phrase match, so your duplicate. Now, there's two ways to do it. You could link it straight to the phrase match. You could also link it straight to the exact match. One of them will prioritize more keyword testing. One of them will prioritize more exact match, which is your optimization uh, ad group. Let's go ahead and link it to the phrase match here. 
And the end result will be that when your phrase match keywords convert, the negatives will be applied to both the broad match campaigns and eventually the volume on that duplicate will, will go down to the point where it really stops spending. And our other broad match will continue spending because the automatic is feeding new broad match keywords to it. That is a pro tip. That, that's, really good. Yeah. that's good yeah. stuff right there. So we wanna make sure that we get this transfer rule though correct on this one where we are having it create the phrase match in that mm -hmm. destination campaign. So we would wanna edit this, change this to phrase, and now we're good. Exactly right. Why? Now, the one thing I want to emphasize is this is a much more advanced pattern. We do recommend starting with an automatic to exact match and getting what you can get out of that first and, and look at it in like, you know, maybe two weeks to a month. And if you're not happy with the spend, you want to be spending more, you want to be more aggressive, go ahead and try the broad and phrase match. We don't recommend immediately starting with, with uh, five campaigns, though, because that's so much keyword testing compared to how much of the actual optimized exact match spend there will be. Yeah, this is great. The, I mean, this is this is the power of Solozo and this campaign studio is the ability to whatever your strategy is, you can design it in here. So like with the way that we linked these up, whether you go from an auto to a broad to an exact, whether you go from an auto and you put it in a broad phrase and exact all at the same time, whatever your strategy is, this is the way that you design the workflow of the keyword transfers. And then you're able to save this. And then the bulk of the workload is done automatically by our tool. Uh, I think one thing that's really important is you do want to name this. So you're when you when you name the group name, uh, you're naming this whole campaign group, this allows you to um, filter by campaign groups um, in the PPC manager, see these campaigns together. Uh, and you definitely any change you make in here, you must go click save when you're done. And that'll save the pattern. And then that workflow will happen from then on. Let's I just want to touch on one last thing. And then I think that's this be good for for this video. We do have the sponsored brand campaigns in here. Okay, now let's talk about if you have a sponsored brand campaign there, if you notice, there's no transfer nodes on this. So. Yeah. So the reason you might want to put a sponsor brand campaign in your campaign pattern is uh, mostly just for organization and viewing the data. So when you're filtering down to the pattern, if you want to actually show that sponsor brand data in there, so it's for ease of organization. Um, the sponsor brand keyword transfer is actually something that's going to be coming out soon. There are some limitations for sponsor brand campaigns. Um, of course, you wouldn't want to apply the negatives um, when you make a transfer to sponsor brands. And then also sponsor brands do have um, quite a large limitation for how many keywords you can put in them because we can't have multiple ad groups in sponsor brand campaigns. So there, there are some difficulties with that if you have a lot of keywords because you don't want to run out of space and then Amazon won't let you create any more. Um, so that's why we haven't actually allowed you to transfer keywords to sponsor brands just yet in an automated way. We will really do recommend um, picking your top keywords and then just turning on the optimizer for them. Uh, we will have some custom videos specifically around automated keyword transfer to sponsor brands in the next uh, month to two months. Though. Excellent. Well, it's nice to put it in your campaign group, though, and save it, like you said, so that you can filter and see all the data there. All right, Brock, thanks so much for jumping on here, explaining this. Um, campaign Studio, That's it's your best friend with Solozo. It allows you to automate your exact strategy. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to support at solozo.com and get it, get your answer. All right, that's Campaign Studio. Thanks, Brock. Thanks a lot. See you guys. See ya.